I have really high expectations for that event, but you know, one best time at a at a time. Um, I'm really happy with that. I didn't swim super great at trials last year, so just um, moving forward, I guess. So after NC2As, I went to San Antonio, and I just kind of like tried to carry my taper, and I felt like if I could swim to a 728 there, then I would go to trials, and if not, I would take that week off. So I went to 10 in San Antonio, took a week off, did whatever I wanted at school, and then Georgia was kind enough to let me keep swimming with them and keep supporting me. So I got back to training till graduation. Um, I moved out of my apartment and went home like May 15th. So I got to walk and everything, and then my parents helped me drive back to Texas. And I stayed with my mom for four weeks, which was fun. Um, she made me do a lot of butterfly, uh, just in 200s, but I love her group. They're always like super nice to me, even though I come in and the sets are always way harder for them. But it was a nice change of pace. And then I think June 12th, I got to start swimming with Texas, and Mitch and Carol and the girls have been really great to me so far. I don't know a bunch about Masters, but I do know that she has one of the best, if not the best group in the country. Uh, I think she has like 200 swimmers registered. Um, they go like 4,000 to 6,000 per workout. It's pretty like intense for shorter periods. So I definitely didn't feel out of shape at any point. Um, I was working really hard and you know, I would have like guys doing freestyle while I was doing fly. So it was, it was nice. There was definitely no, um, you know, like stopping, taking it easy doing whatever I wanted at least. I was kept at work. <laughs> They're very uh, technical, so they've been helping with my start a lot more. Um, it's pretty bad, it was pretty bad. Uh, I was always far, pretty far behind. But they've also been helping with the mental aspect, like I said, you know, just trying to have fun. Um, Carol told me afterwards, she's like, I know you're a great racer, and you'll get up there and race anybody, so we'll just keep working on that um, going into next year. I was thinking about that today, I was like, you know, realistically, if you know, I decide to be done in March, this could be my last tuner fly ever, which I think was a really great like thing for me to have mentally to um, move forward and like give my all. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward. I've been really trying to um, enjoy the racing, that's what I love about swimming, and I think I've lost some of that along the way, putting pressure on myself, so just trying to have fun and keep moving forward. Right now I want to swim through the 2024 trials, but um, I always know things can change. Things changed for me this year, but um, that's my goal um, as of right now to keep training with that in sights. I think for me to move on with the rest of my life, I want to have one more shot at the team.